So it had to happen. We were gone for about two weeks. And when we came back to the tent, a mouse had gotten in. We haven't had a lot of mice problems. Very little as a matter of fact. So we came down and sure enough, a mouse had got in and chewed up our screen. Chewed some of our bedding. Uh, but that's really about it. So I don't know why mice like to chew screens. The only other damage we had from mice was a hole in the screen. And now they've chewed it all up. We got lots of holes in our screen. I found the mouse in the uh, in our battery box. We trapped him, we chased him. So he's pretty quick, but I finally got him. He's a goner. So another thing we found is we have a carpenter bee on our log frame. It's only one spot that I can see. And let me show you the telltale sign of carpenter bee eating your wood. First things first, we've got all this sawdust. Where's that sawdust coming from, you might ask? Well, start looking up, there's sawdust here. There's some poop stains here. Where's it come to? It comes to right here. Here's some here. Right there's our hole. Yep, I can just barely see it up there. That's a carpenter bee. He's boring a hole, turning at a right angle and laying eggs. So we've got to take care of that. Here's another one right there, look at that. Perfectly round hole. So we've got uh, some carpenter bee traps that we're gonna set. So carpenter bees can do a lot of damage. Damage we don't want. I've had them uh, get into some trim on my house and uh, just gut it. It's just a shell of a piece of wood, so you really got to keep them in check. We have uh, eliminated 95% of them around our house with the carpenter bee traps. So we've got some extras. We got to bring them down, set them up. I'll plug these holes, set the carpenter bee trap up. I'll show you how they work. So here's our carpenter bee trap. Very simple to make. Three inch piece of four by four, non-pressure treated post we drill a one inch hole three quarters of the way through we got half inch holes drilled at a 45 degree angle up in intersecting that one inch center hole we have a small mason jar we cut a hole in the top of the mason jar nail it to the bottom of our four by four block that becomes the trap carpenter bees are attracted to holes They'll fly up, see that hole, they'll crawl up in, drop into the jar, and they can't find their way back out. These things work really good. We put a hook on it to hang it from in the areas that are being affected by the uh, carpenter bees. And uh, again, they work awesome. So let's go hang it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug those holes that are already in there so the carpenter bees don't have a place to land and go. And then they will be attracted to the holes in our trap. So we're gonna go do that. We gotta shave this to get it to fit right. Look at that. Okay. And we're putting a piece of green pine in these holes. There we go. So we plugged our holes to keep those uh, carpenter bees from going in the existing holes. And we're just going to hang this up right there. We're just going to use a piece of wire. Very simple. Hang our trap right here. So the whole idea is the uh, bees come up to use their holes because multiple bees will use the same hole. They can't get in those holes. They use this trap. They go in here, they drop into the jar, and they can't get out. These things work really good. They're very easy to make. If you got carpenter bees, 
make one, use it. They work. Until next time, we'll see you later.